Hey guys, hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorials brought to you by Creators. Today in this video tutorial we are just gonna be creating this explosion, maybe a better explosion than this inside of Photoshop without getting bored. <laughs> so let's get started. Just open the stock images what we have. Mm, yeah. Now the thing is that we must open all the stock images we are just gonna be using. Okay. So let's minimize this image and to click this image go to image go to image size and adjust its width to be 800 and height to be 565 and hit OK. Maybe we can even minimize the size 500 it's good. Just click it and just drag down it here. Now what we do is go to this plenty options right here and just change it to linear light now just go to edit free transform just transform it freely that it's look that it's real hit anywhere hit apply now we select the brush and the brush uh, sorry the rubber and the brush is number 100 and we just trim out this black area oh yes like this um, and we just roughen its edges so that it looks like real fire has aroused And what we do is now right click here and go to duplicate layer or the simply way to just drag down it here which I generally use and you could even hit Ctrl J on the keyboard. Go to edit, go to free transform, just transform this. Something like this, hit anywhere and hit apply. Now again with the rubber, we just rub out its edges. Hope that looks good. Now what we do is open this image and we select this image. We select the magnetic lasso tool and even can select the pen tool. Select just click just remember to click it just click 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 it click it click it click it click this one this one this one this one just from here just from here from here to here here And select this move selection tool and just oh only one thing is dragging no we don't want to do this you just go to history magnetic lasso tool and we go to layer and go to flat on image now we just click this tool and just drag it over here yeah this looks good okay so we are done with the tutorial hope you enjoyed <laughs> oh no we are done with the half tutorial now what we have to do is just hit again the rubber and again we do the same thing we did earlier Strim. Okay, now then what we do is go to this background and just drag it down again and with the move selection tool just change its position. Yeah, this will do. And now we take the rubber 
and we choose any of the brushes something like which looks like this patter brush it's already installed i think and it's not then you know the resource is more than me where it's found let's select this one yeah and just add it up here so that this looks like the this has also broken and somewhere here let's be here okay now the thing is that we have to just change some of the adjustments so that it looks more realistic now what we do is right click here go to brightness and contrast let the brightness be down to minus 6 and the contrast to be up to 14 and it's okay now the next thing is that we have to make this a kind of a blur so that it must look that the car was in a high speed okay so select lasso tool right click here and select lasso tool from here to here from here here to here from here to here from here to here from here to here from here to here 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 excluding the fire we just to make this and we select the background and we again go to filter blur motion blur and we adjust the motion blur to be angle of 31 distance of 29 maybe increase this okay 35 it looks okay and we do the same thing with the car just select the car layer and just duplicate it right click and duplicate or hit ctrl j a long cut i reckon and we move it again something where it looks like yes looks like this or just go to edit free transform just adjust its transformation hit anywhere and hit apply now after that what we do is just go and select uh, just go and select the layer 1 and hit ctrl E so as to merge them and we again select this tool uh, and uh, let's select the, this tool again and just draw randomly and select only the car go to filter motion blur will appear here click here once hit anywhere and what we do next is hit the rubber once again and hit this paddle brush and just add some spatter over here No, this doesn't look great to me. Yeah, like this somewhere. Yes, like this. And the next step is just we have to select this one and let's merge them up layer and flat on image and just go to filter liquify. Now we liquefy this to so make sure that the pen pressure is 72 and the brush size is 64. It's looking really radiating fire from the car. Hit anywhere and hit OK. Now, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This tutorial is really finished, and 
hope that i have made something new which you never saw before on youtube so please subscribe like and share and comment this video thanks for watching